Hello guys. Welcome back to CAD Make. In this video we are going to learn how to draw a spur gear in SOLIDWORKS. We'll use some of the essential features and commands to give our sketch a professional look. I hope you'll enjoy it. Now if you're ready, let's get started. Go to the file menu. Click New. Click on Part and click OK. Change the background scene as plain white. Change the scale from millimeters to inches as our sketch is in inches. Now go to the sketch. Click on Sketch. Choose the front plane. Take the circle command and draw two circles here in the origin like this. Click OK. Now take the Smart Dimension command. Give the circle diameter as for point for 1 inches. Click OK. Click on smaller circle and give the circle diameter as 2.41 inches. Click OK. Again click OK to finish the command. Now take the midpoint line command and draw a line here on circle quadrant at 180 degrees with 0.36 length. Click OK. Now take the simple line command and draw an inclined line of 0.6 inches to the upside like this. Press Escape. Again take the line command and draw a line from here like this. Press Escape button. Now take the Mirror Entities command. First select this line as we want it to be mirrored. Select this one as a projection line. Click OK. Again take the line command connect these lines like this. Click OK. I like zoom it to see it clearly. Take the extend entities command. Click this line and this one to extend it. Press escape to finish the command. Now take the trim entities command and erase all these extra lines like this. Click OK. Select these lines and active the circular pattern command. Give the pattern's number as 15. Click OK. Again take the trim entities command. Erase all these extra lines like this to get a perfect shape. Click OK. Click on Finish Sketch. Make it normal. Now take the Extruded Boss command. Give the extrusion value as 1.18 inches. Click OK. A little zoom it out. Make it normal like this. Here we see it looks perfect. Make it normal. Now go to the appearance. Click Metal. Click on Brass and choose the Polish Brass. Now go to the Visual Styles and change its shaded moods. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you're new to this channel please subscribe, like, share and comments. Thanks for watching.